Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to create a scatter plot in your TI Inspire graphing calculator. So what we have below is the table shows the number of weekly TV ads run and the number of cars sold for an eight week period. So we want to create a scatter plot for the data and then we want to interpret the overall trend of the data in the scatter plot. So when interpreting the trend, you're just describing what you see. So like as my X increases, what is my Y value doing? Or does it look like there's a linear trend? Does it look like there is a more nonlinear trend? What kind of association do you see in your graph? Okay, so when you're doing a scatter plot, the first thing that you want to do is you want to figure out what is going to be my X variable, which is going to be my explanatory. Um, in algebra, a lot of times we call this the independent variable. This is the one that you can pick anything for, and that's going to be your input. The Y is going to be our response variable, and it's the one that depends on what you put into the first one. Okay. Um, so with this, if we look at our values, our ads run versus cars sold, it makes a lot more sense to say that the ads run is going to explain how many cars are sold versus the number of cars sold explaining how many ads to run. Okay, um, so in this case, our ads run would be our X, and I don't know why I put L1, sorry, I just did a TI-84 one, and we use L1. Um, the ads run is going to be our X, and our cars sold is going to be our Y. Okay, um, so let me go ahead and grab my calculator and what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new one. Uh, you can either select new down here or you can just go to a spreadsheet screen. So I'm going to select spreadsheet. Okay, and then when I go into this, it is important to name your columns. It's really important to go ahead and name them. So I'm going to call this ads. And then in the second one, I'm going to put it as cars so that we know which one is the ads and which one is our cars. And then you simply just type in your information. So I'm just gonna go down my ads run and I'm gonna type in all of my values. Okay, when I get to the bottom, I always like to make sure that I check everything to see that I did not mistype anything. So I'm just gonna go back up my numbers and make sure I have everything. And then I'm going to go into the next column and I'm going to start typing in the values. If you mistype one of these values, your entire scatter plot will be wrong. And if you're coming up with lines of best fit and correlation coefficients, which I'm not doing in this video, um, but it will throw all of those answers off as well. So it's really, really, really important that you check your data after you plug it in. Okay. Um, once you have your data entered, you're going to hit control. And so if you guys notice right here, control is this blue button right here. So I'm just going to hit control and the letter I. Okay, um, that's going to insert something. And what I want to insert is the data and statistics screen. So I'm going to go to option five. I'm just going to hit the five on my keypad. And if you notice, it puts a bunch of random dots in here. What you have to come down here is you're going to click or enter to add your variable. This is why I always name it so I know which one goes where. So my ads is going to be my X. And then I'm going to click my other one to get my cars. And then it creates a scatter plot for me that already has my labels and also a scale that they picked. So they picked to count by four down here. And they picked to count by... Um, eights here, but they did not start at zero. So um, you can always create, use these as your labels and your scale. It does make it nice in this. We can see that our overall trend is that generally speaking, it's not a perfectly straight line, but we could model this with a linear pattern. Okay, it definitely shows an upward linear trend. So the biggest part with this is to talk about what's happening. So as our number of ads increase, the number of cars being sold also increases. So as far as interpreting goes, you would just write something like as the number of ads shown increases. So as the number of ads shown increase, the number of cars sold also increase. Okay. Um, when you get further into statistics and you're talking about correlation and line of best fit, it would be appropriate to use a line of best fit on this one as well. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.